Well, hello there. I'd like to say there's only a few subjects that make my blood boil, but in all honesty, there's getting to be more and more and more at this moment. And I've read something today, heard something today that really got me going again. I must admit, I heard it first about four years ago. Um, and I heard it on something called This Morning, which is a show we have here in England, in Great Britain. Um, and to be honest with you, most of the things I hear on there, the the the... the Oddball or off the off the wall subjects tend to make me blood boil, but this one did more than all the rest. And I've read something again today, and I feel I can't let it go any further. I was going to mention this in months to come, but I'm going to do it today now. Look, I've got some advice for some parents throughout Great Britain and America, especially America, but also some in Great Britain. You may not take it, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. If you have a baby, and it's born with a little Desmond, it's a boy. When I say Desmond, the old Desmond Decker, it's going to be a boy. No Desmond Decker, it's... Wait a minute, my producer's in my ear again. Desmond Decker. Sorry, Desmond Decker. Pecker. If the, if the young one's got a pecker, it's a boy. If it hasn't, it's a girl. And that's it. Them are the rules. That's what it is. Now, further down t into time, things may change. That boy might decide it isn't a boy, it's a girl or wants to be a girl, and vice versa. And that's fine. But that's another argument. And by the way, if that's going to happen, that should be maybe 14, 15, 16, 17 years old of, a of age. I can't see, I'm getting, I'm getting warmed up, you see. And it's of their, of their own opinions. It, they shouldn't be pushed into it by other people, by friends, by relations, by mothers, by fathers. It should be their own opinion. They shouldn't learn about all these things at six, seven, eight, nine in school. They should learn about things like that, things that matter, probably when they're 13, 14 and 15. And then in time, they decide what they want to do, and it's their opinion. And we must respect their opinions, because they're young adults, and that is fine. But, and by the way, I've completely gone off piece here. What I'm getting at, the thing that I've read today that's annoying me, and as I heard it this morning about four years ago, is another couple, again in America, it always starts in America and then comes over here, that have recently had a couple of children. I think they've had one of each. Well, I would have said one of each. I'd have said a boy and a girl. But what they're going to do, they're another one of these couples that on a Monday, they're going to be both dressed in blue. On a Tuesday, they're both going to be dressed in pink. And then on a Wednesday, back to blue and then back to pink. The idea being is, for all one has been born, a boy, because it's got the old Desmond Decker there, and one's been born, a girl, the mum and dad want to give it a chance to decide what it wants to be itself by dressing them as a boy one day and as a girl the next and alternating between days and giving it boys toys on one day and girls the next. What a load of absolute rubbish. If it's been born a boy, it's a boy. If it's been born a girl, it's a girl. In time, things may change. He or she might decide it wants to be something else. Let them. In time. But if they're born a boy, bring them up as a boy. If they're born a girl, bring them up as a girl. That's the order of things. That's the way things should be. And if things change further down the line of the, their own volition and their own mind, let them and support them. But don't confuse them as the minute they're born. Give them a chance to grow up. I don't dare I say normal. I don't mean that. Give them a chance to grow up as to what they're born into. And if they're happy with that, great. And if they're not, Great, but don't try to make them unhappy with what they are already before they even know it themselves. Give them a chance. If you're born a boy, you're a boy. If you're born a girl, you're a girl. Things may change further down the line, but don't let's push any of them into it. Let them decide what they want to be themselves. Give them a chance. Please give them a chance. It's not a lot to ask. But honestly, if they've got a tackle down there, they're a boy, they're a man, they're male. No tackle, girl, woman, female. That's it. That ain't too hard, is it? I don't know. Sometimes words fail me, and, and this kind of subject does all the time. Oh, God. Let them be what they are until they decide otherwise, and let them decide otherwise, and let them decide at a reasonable age. Not when they, before they walk, you know, when they're only just walking, or when they're in junior school. Let 
them decide things at a decent age. Let's not put thoughts and and let's not put anything into their heads at, until they're at a decent age to put, formulate things themselves. That's it.